Come on in. That's gonna be fun. Every guitar in Mike Serrani's music class has a story. If you wanna play a C chord, all you have to do is move your second finger like this. The fact that every guitar player in class has a guitar is a story unto itself. I've been trying to get a guitar class for a while now and then I got notified in January that we were gonna have a guitar class this semester, which was fantastic. I was really excited about it but I didn't have enough guitars. Serrani put out a call in the local newspaper looking for donations, old guitars, that maybe people were no longer playing. And once it hit the paper, we just started getting donations and donations, and it's, it's been, we're so grateful, it's, it's been absolutely amazing. Two dozen donated guitars. A little rusty. Including the one in Tristan Harris's hands. There we go. A little better. I'll call you when, when my birthday comes around. <laughs> <laughs> the custom-made guitar Pam Packard gave away. When I met my husband, he played the guitar for me the first night. And I was hooked because he wanted that back. And I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> two dozen old guitars telling two dozen stories. Every time I went past it, I had to pick it up. That was my rule. Mm -hmm. I had to pick it up and play something. Mm -hmm. And that's how I learned. Pam used to play in a bluegrass and country band, but that was a long time ago. I'm not using them anymore, so it's, I'm, I'm just happy they've got a, a place where they'll be playing. So it's D5 to C to G. Serrani's guitar class is so popular, kids will even stop by and play during lunch. I definitely think we're very lucky to be in the community that we are in, to have all these, especially to have the amount of guitars to support a guitar class. It's just really cool. I always mess that part up. For Packer, knowing her guitar is making music again is touching. I don't know, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> The kind of story up, down, up, down, down, up. Serrani says is worth a million notes. It's kind of heartfelt just to know that these instruments were part of their, these people's lives for such a long time. That's been wonderful. In Newark. Yeah, that's right. Seth Voorhees, Spectrum News.